Hello everybody, how you doing today? Superfiend here. Welcome back to our legendary Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires Silostra Direfin campaign. Have not played this one in a little while. I know I have a video that came out recently. Uh, I usually record two back to back. I'm very excited to report that the latest and greatest version of OBS is uh, has fixed a problem that I've been dealing with for months on end where uh, it just didn't record very smooth recordings and somehow obs nvidia and windows got their got all their butts and gears i think it was windows that broke it really some sort of creators update or something anyways um now obs is recording and losing like hardly any frames per second nice smooth recordings very excited for that in terms of total warp and planet coaster and then um what are we doing in our campaign well let's go ahead let's click through these thingies here uh, where are you, Wee Pete Rainer? <laughs> Wee Pete Rainer, my gosh. That is quite a name. And she is also ready for duty, Vampire Fleet Captain. We have a Morn Ghoul here. Yes, okay, very good. Excellent. Let's go ahead and uh, turn all these on. Their notifications. Might as well spend this guy's uh, skill point. Block army seems reasonable based on the other expenditures that were in the list man we are just not getting any good followers in uh in this campaign are we wait were you the same guy i wanted you she didn't have anything either okay anyways recently we fought clan pestilence i believe lord Squirrel down over here and um we won pretty sure we won i lost his level 40. We have uh, Curse of the Sword of Cain, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Ooh, we cause fear when fighting elves. Neat. Ulthawan. Did we not? Did we not fight Skrulk? Lizardmen. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. What did we get for this over here? Defeated Mazda Mundi. Leadership or size, 25%. Yeah, that's kind of nice. Uh, what I'm looking for is did we defeat Skrulk or not? Well, you know what? I suppose it just doesn't really matter. So the question that I was uh, pondering at the end of last episode is, do we negotiate peace? Can you keep it down? I'm trying to talk. Do we negotiate peace with these guys? They are at war with pretty much um, everybody down here. Ooh, Clan Rictus included hates them. Uh, the thing, the issue I have with them is, so who is this? This is, this is Luther here, I think. Yeah, this is all Vampire Coast. And so it looks like Skrull may have like all of this way down there. And this is probably that Dark Elf that was added, Lock here, Fellheart or something. So Skrull may be like way down here. And if we're going to march down here and try to kill him, like it's just going to take forever to get down there. And and we're going to have to send armies and then we're going to have to fight the, the Skaven and deal with their um, ambush mechanic. And really where we need to focus our attention, I think, is uh, rapidly sealing off this province up here, getting uh, this settlement, and then these two, I think. I think these are all one province. I hope this is not part of it. And then I want to get Lotharum, okay? I want to get as much territory in here as we can because it's just right in the center of the map. Puts us in a good position to pretty much go anywhere else we want. Um, and that just might be more productive for us. So you know what? Let's ask him for peace. Yeah, we just, like, we utterly trounce these guys. Oh, and they'll give us a trade agreement. Let's just take money. How much can we ask for until it becomes low? Uh, okay, we'll try 33. No, you're going to pay me something. Let's try 3,000. Never. I'll find something that you like. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, 2750. Let's try that. Okay, good. So we got a little bit of money. We don't have to worry about scroll for a little while. And then the diplomacy, diplomacy screen shoots off somewhere else and uh, shows us some other faction. Thanks for that. Okay, now Siloster's just got this incredible movement range. Absolutely insane. Now, what's going on here? Especially from me. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. There are military allies with pestilence? 
<laughs> okay. Um, trusted friends. He really likes us. Heck, we could get a defensive alliance. He's at war with the lizards. So getting friendly with him might piss off the lizards. Uh, here's another thing to think about here. Is when the chaos factions roll in. Uh, there's like a minor chaos faction that comes in here with like, I don't know, 10 or 12 ships. And they just go like hog wild on everything that's over in this area. Um, so like we don't really want to encroach on Luther. Uh, if anything, we'd like those chaos factions that come in to be angry at him instead of us. I cannot he really likes safety. us. He is unreliable Especially and he hates lizard men. Let's go ahead for now and let's uh let's just get ourselves a trade agreement and a defensive alliance. He really likes that. Military access, sure, why not? Uh you know what? While we're while we're doing this, let's just let's just get some money. Can we get money from you too? Uh, let's try let's try twenty three. He says a thousand. And then he takes the military access out. No 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 no. Military access is part of the deal, buddy. Uh, what did we try last time? 23? Let's do 2,000. A little bit of diplomacating at the beginning of this episode. Yes. There we go. Yes. Okay. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Um, I honestly think, like, because he's unreliable, I think he's going to turn on us at some point. Fear now, queen. who are we at war with over here? Um, yeah, these are, like, relatively good factions other than the uh, Tomb Kings. Can parley like true pirates of Sardosa. Let's uh let's get ourselves a little bit more trade here and let's try to get some money to sweeten the deal. Although she doesn't want to pay us that much. Hey, look at that. A little bit more money. Cool. Cool, cool. I don't think we're gonna be over here anytime soon. We're gonna be busy fighting Lothern. Uh for quite a while, really. Uh Mausalon, Musalon, however you say it. They got two provinces. They're they're on their way out. I don't think they're going to be around very long. The Borrow Legion. It'd be nice if we could um, get eyes and ears on them. Uh, they're at war with some of the people we're starting to get friendly with. You speak with Cetra, uh, king king. Okay, we'll forget him for now. So, calling your attention back over here. We have 10,000 in the bank. Join me. We're about to have a lot more because we're going to go get this Skull Reef on our way back to Ult 1. Yes, of course I will face a foe in battle and get lots of money. We're all about that in this campaign because we are pirates. Uh, now, somebody recently made a comment on on um, the last episode of this series and said, like, uh, do more Planet Coaster. Nobody watches your Total War stuff. <laughs> and they're kind of correct. Although my Ungrim campaign is overall doing pretty good as far as Total War goes. Um, and as far as that goes, they are right. I do need to, you know, get back into Planet Coaster and make more of that. I have started doing that this week. But as far as Total War goes, like, this is a permanent fixture on my channel. Um not just Total War Warhammer, but Total War in general. Like, one day I may move off of Warhammer and play some of the other Total Wars. You know, I don't know. But I I stumbled across Total War, oh, I don't know, uh, seven years ago. And I entered the franchise with Shogun 2. Had a lot of fun with it. And basically, like, as soon as I played it, I was like, you know what? This is like uh, Warhammer, Games Workshop, Warhammer... Um, miniatures, except that the, at the time, Total War was only historical. So I was like, well, it's like the miniatures that I love. I love the paint and collect. And it's historical, but the rules are pretty similar. So it really, like, um, filled this uh, desire that I have to, like, control armies and do this kind of stuff. And, and then I just, I enjoy the games. So uh, Total War is not ever really going to go anywhere. Um, I may, like get to a point to where maybe I only run one Total War series at a time while I do other stuff. I don't know about that, but uh, anyways, as far as that goes, Total War is here to stay. <laughs> Whether it gets one view or 1,000 or 1 million, like, I I will be playing this game franchise because I enjoy it. Uh, and then there are other Total War titles that I haven't even done really on my channel. I had, I had one Rome 2 series that I worked on uh, for a while, and that was back when my kids were young, but unfortunately I kind of had to abandon my hopes and dreams for the channel at that time. Um, and so that Room 2 series never got finished. 
And hopefully that's the only series I ever make that doesn't get finished. You know, I really do, if I start something, want to finish it. I hate, I hate starting a series on someone's channel and then it's like they just stop working on it for a while and then like they never come back to it. Oh, let's just drop that right there. And we'll go ahead and then throw one of those in there. Uh, wait a second, what am I doing with you guys? Go get up there, get stuff. Attack, go get it. Get after it. Uh, let's throw a big fireball into Crab Man there. Drop some of these. Uh, what is our queen best shooting at? Shoot that stuff. There we go. Yeah. I love it, man. We do so much damage. Okay, what is your name? Are you Benny Butters? You are Benny Butters. <laughs> get in here, buddy. Go get him, Benny. Paladin's doing great. Uh, Silaster's still fighting that big thing. She does appear to be. Let's just fling that right up that way. And let's start dropping some mortars and stuff back here on all their um, missile units. I think we finally got the big Leviathan down. But that's what it's called. Yeah, let's just pop in here. Yeah, let's make some more of these. I'll be honest, we're not thinking very hard tactically about this fight. Just kind of talking, spilling my thoughts. Okay, let's aim the Queen Best over there. Let's sing our song. Oh, Mr. Yellow Dot, you swallowed my mouse clips. We'll turn our cannon onto their lord. Sirens uh, doing good over here. Get some grape shot in there. Uh, are any units, like, absolutely losing? What are you guys doing way back there? I did not even put my death guard into the fight. Well, time for them to make themselves useful. Get something done. And let's pop in some more Bretonian Knights. Let's go tie up their lord. They're starting to uh, fall apart here anyways. Very good. Excellent. Nice, productive way to start the uh, the episode. Get lots of money in our coffers. Maybe upgrade some settlements. I want to go up there and kick the pants out of the high elves. That's what I want to do. I don't want to get bogged down in Lustria. The other thing I need to do is um, go through and look at our provinces and probably do some building upgrades so we can recruit some more um, elite armies. Because we do have lots of chaff in our armies. All these zombies and stuff are... Witness, they're just meat shield units. Their job is to absorb casualties, tie things up. 20,000. My gosh. That's so much. It's like, it's so awesome how much money you get when you do that stuff with them. So, hmm. We don't really need you guys down here anymore, do we? No, we do not. Okay, Beatrix. She's uh, rank 9. Yellow skill points. Uh, everything is, is global recruitment in here. We just don't have the buildings in this province. Now, should we build some? That is a question. This is public order, correct? Yes, it is. Uh, we do want to build this. Okay, now do we have anything in here that reduces construction costs? I'm not seeing it. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Wait, before we do that. Okay, we got money buildings everywhere. We've got a port and iron. What do we get for the iron? Oh, uh, that reduces construction costs by um, some small amount. We have resources here and here. No, we do not. So the only resources we really have are this. Oh, this reduces construction costs by, by a bit as well. Huh. Um, but this doesn't really bring in any money. You know, I'm not really concerned about the construction costs because we just sell over a skull reef and, you know, get oodles of money at a time. So I think what I'd rather have is I'd rather build this and get income plus 100% from all, all buildings, regions in this province. And an additional 30% from ports because we got two ports in here. So 
Yeah, we want that. And then these are, what, 600, 400. So we get pretty good money out of these. Uh, this spreads vampiric corruption into nearby provinces. Yes, please. Let's do that. And then now we need to pick just a couple buildings in here. How much are we getting from characters? 10. And 10 for buildings. Uh, with the vampiric corruption on the rise, it may be possible at some point to drop this building. So I'm not going to upgrade this. You know, we've got good uh, public order here. Plus, this also leads to public order into adjacent provinces. That's very helpful. I do like that. So, what are we really missing in here? We're missing, like, basic recruitment. And this goes all the way up to rank 5. And do any of these buildings provide additional garrisons or anything like that? Any extra money, extra damage to units. It's not looking like it. Uh, building this locally provides the um, Grape Shot and Norse Roar um, unit abil or army abilities on the sidebar. That's very handy. And that says it is for uh, local armies. But is that local to the province or local to the individual settlement? That I don't know. This gives us an additional two vampire corruption. Most of these do. Most of these do. Uh, yeah, nothing in here. Okay. What do we want? It's so hard to choose. It really is. Uh, these don't give us any like basic corruption. Okay. We're going to build this and this that pretty much gives us all of our run-of-the-mill like just basic units right we can recruit everything in here we have all the buildings that will be required there's no special armory buildings or anything like that uh, the way empire works and there's not now uh, we got twenty thousand left to spend uh, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna upgrade this because again we got two ports and this is gonna give us income from ports we're gonna upgrade our walls 3300 that's rather cheap Go ahead and pop this up. Now, over here, we built these. So we really need, like, we need to be able to build these somewhere, right? So let's go ahead and do that. That goes up to rank five. And, and. Yeah, that gives us all that. What is this? Vampire Corruption. Ooh. Uh, do we need Vampire Corruption? I don't think we need a source of Vampire Corruption over here. Our Vampire Corruption is climbing up to 60%. So... And we don't have any negative public order from lack of corruption. So in Maku Peaks, I think we're cool to just go straight for one of these. And... Well, if we are building, oh, good grief. If we're building this where we get the, um, the terror guys, then I would say over here, uh, we'll do the great altar of Necrarchs. And so, th um, Maku Peaks, or I'm sorry, Northern Jungles of Pahualaxa. Uh, this is where we get our big baddies. This is where we get our infantry and missile units. And then popping up to Hexwattle. This is also Northern Jungles. Okay. Hexwattle. Man, we just got like ports everywhere up here. It's fantastic. It's really good. Uh, we were building this here. Let's put it on hold for now. And let's just focus on the stuff that we haven't built elsewhere. So we've got, we've got all three of these buildings. We got the gold mine. I know we got this further north. Um, what we need down here then is a cannonade or whatever it's called, Black Powder Depot. And this, we got the two slots. We've got the walls already. Uh, we've got all, all this other stuff. The Empire Corruption is climbing again to 60% over here. So let's go ahead and do the cannonade and the Rotting Leviathan there. And then once this Oh, we we have the population. We just we just spent the money. Okay. So we can actually get rid of all of these uh, growth buildings down here. 
Do we have growth buildings here? We have growth buildings here that we can get rid of. Um, although, I don't know that we want to get rid of all of them. Reason being that they do provide um, public order minus 50% penalty due to the lack of corruption. So, like, as soon as I delete this, our lack of corruption might introduce a tiny bit of negative public order. So, let's not remove them just yet. We've already removed them completely from this settlement, which is why we have to make the public order building in here. I think that's good. And yeah, we're global recruiting there. And let's see. Where do we want Beatrix to go? Okay, I think Cat Ingle is going to follow Silostra. Beatrix. Beatrix is going to come this way. And she's going to reinforce Charlie. Admiral of the fleet. Uh, we're not going to build anything up here right now because we're well, we spent all of our money is one reason. Now, did we ever get the Morngol Hunter in here? Al, could I? Love these names. I do. I love them. They're so uh, flavorful. The fleet master has spoken. Okay, we got walls and hag hall. And we need ice rock gorge. We are at war with the Exiles of Nehek, so that works out okay for us. Who who else are they allied with? Lothern, okay. Interesting um, matchup there. Uh, but we need to get all the way up here. What does this look like? No garrison here. We might just, like, hop over and sack it. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. We need this one. Uh, we want to get up here. We want to get Vol's Anvil and this temple. We want to get these two before anybody else does. And then we're at war with you? I will not obey. Do not waste my time with petty... Why would you do that? Why? Why would you be at war with us? You're like a little itsy-bitsy teeny-weeny midget compared to us. What are we researching? Which one of these is active? This one. Okay. Uh, we got the money. Let's go ahead. Steal some uh, technology. Block army, block army. Oh, yeah, we got... Lothern is right here. We recently got these gates. Yeah, we need to get up here. It took this back. I think we had this at one point. They got it back. Ooh. Ooh. Diamonds. 680. That's not too expensive. So, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, she assaults units and all that. What level is Alariel? 18 versus 16. We'll just kind of leave her right here. And then he assassinates. He's only rank 13, though. Let's see if we can find somebody to butcher. Like you. This guy right there would be good. <sighs> we have... We have so little stuff that we can give them in terms of followers and whatnot. It's, it's really deck. disappointing in a way. You are a vampire fleet captain, so you make vampire coves. Let's just swing you up in here. I don't know where we were going with you, honestly. And then Silosphere's balcony. We have to build that. And then we got all this other junk. Ah, oh, yes, Pete the Slimy. He's rank 13. Rank 6, rank 7. Uh, let's see if we can do it. 50 and 3. We have failed, but at least he didn't get wounded. And this is Benny Butters. <laughs> um, You know what? I'm going to start putting some points in the scavenge because I want magic items. All right, let's see what happens. Ugh, looking over at OBS there, my CPU is using 1.5%, 1.1%, and recording like a steady 60 frames per second. My goodness. I spent like over a year with OBS just dropping like 30%. 20 to 30 percent of the frames of my recordings for absolutely no reason whatsoever like 
Uh, before it started dropping frames, I was recording at 1440p, 60 frames per second, high settings on all my games, OBS was performing great, my recordings were great. And then it's like one day, I just noticed that it was choppy. And then I looked at the OBS stats and it's like, man, it is dropping frames like crazy. And then a few people over the course of like 12 months would sporadically make comments about it. And it's like, I there was nothing I could do to fix it. It was just like, it used to work great. And then there was some Windows update or NVIDIA driver thing or whatever. And it just went poo poo. Okay, who else are they at war with? Really just us. Okay, well, we're gonna make you pay for this as well. If you want peace with me. Oh, we could even get trade. More trade. <laughs> he would even accept a military alliance? Are you... What? Why? Why would he accept a military alliance with us? He's trading with Vampire Coast. Uh, let's just see if we can do that. He's accepted. Okay, well... No, they wounded our gunnery white. Airy Ornigold. He's been wounded. Oh, it looks like uh looks like Grimgore is uh standing off here against Clan Moors down there. Good, keep the greenskins busy. Keep them busy. Probably gonna wound us. No. Oh, no, no, wait. Clan Rictus is, uh, is our friend. What am I thinking about? Vampire Coast. Amelia Hodgesworth. Looks like they're just beelining for the lizards. Hopefully the Blue Vipers just stay in their little settlement there and don't bother us. I am a little bit concerned about the exiles of Nehek. Um, they don't really seem to be a powerhouse up in this region, but being this kind of late in the game and then being Tomb Kings, they could they could just pop out of the fog of war with like ten, you know, War Sphinx and and um, uh, Necro Sphinx is the other one. The, the Camrian War Sphinx and then the Necro Sphinx. Also, the Hero Titans. Those are those are big bad units. Um, we don't really have a lot of stuff in our army that can uh, withstand that. I imagine that we'd have a tough time with things like Tomb Scorpions and Ushabti too. Uh, are they not at war with Malekith? I guess not. Uh, one faction I wish to not fight at all in this playthrough is the Dark Elves, if we can avoid it. Uh, Malekith is just, he's such a nightmare, especially when he gets leveled up. A sea region is being blighted. Woe betide any vessel that strays into these waters while the beast lurks in wait. Well, can we fight it? I want to know what happens... Can we fight it? Like, how does this work? I, I know nothing about it. You know what? I haven't even really looked at their victory conditions. Okay, maintain provinces. Destroy these factions. Lothern's the only one left. Control settlements. Ensure that two of the following buildings. Maintain units. Reach rank 20 with three Morngold. Like, what a strange pile of objectives. It really is kind of strange. Uh, maybe Aminar, like, um, fulfills some sort of role if you play Warhammer 2, like, with the Vortex. I don't know. And, and Vampire Coast, of course. Raiding, Tor Anrock. Looks like a lot of skellies. Maybe worse than that. Don't know. My speak better. Uh, block army. Eh, nothing really worth blocking up here. 
Who got wounded? The guy that was here. Alright, let's go for an assassinate. They got a full uh, 10 levels on us, so... I was not expecting that. But very happy for it. We get ourselves a monkey jacket. I don't know why we would want to wear a jacket uh, made out of monkeys. Makes me wonder, is it like a jacket made out of monkey fur? Or is it more like a Simpsons monkey jacket where it's a jacket uh, with a bunch of monkeys on it? Who can say? We're going to bring her down here. We'll probably assault units once or twice, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, bounce you in there. Forgot about this person. Now, why are you over here? You're over here to, like, dig for treasure, right? Moving. I hope you don't get wounded. So, there is a treasure map. We haven't even thought about defeating any of these people yet. I'm still fighting Lothern. There is a treasure over here, close to the Mount of Spiders. Find what is lost. Blurbity, blurbity, blah. Now, Mount Arachnos is here, so I imagine it's, like, in here somewhere. Um, we'll get a little bit closer and then dig for it. All right, so I lost her. How far can you move? They got Lothern back. Uh, we need to we need to get up here, like, quickly. Put your backs into it. Put your backs into it. Uh, one thing that's kind of stinky of the is I don't have, like, a good place to get onto the shore right here, like, close to them. So do I swing around and attack from over there, or do I pop up onto the shore on this side? Third I don't know. Eternity. Okay, Cat Ingle. She's probably going to get swallowed by that on sea monster. Battle. Watch. The Galeon awaits. I think we're going to send her up towards the Rebellion. All bones on deck. All bones on deck. Um, you know, Beatrix is going to be swinging through here just in time, I think, to scoop up a couple of rotting leviathans. So let's think about doing that. Oh, we don't have any walls over there, huh? I guess we don't need them right now. Can we build anything else that's going to give us money? Uh, 3,900 is all of our money. Yeah, let's spend it. I have sailed the world. Okay, Ice Rock Gorge is on our way. We got lots of stuff. No. We got a garrison. So what we're going to do is we're going to get Scarred Veteran with with um Al Goodeye. That's his name. It shall be done. Admiral of the we'll probably auto-resolve this real quick. Better not destroy my mortar. Okay, good. And we'll just occupy it. Get some uh, more territory here. This might be a good time to swing down here and uh, sack or raise that other settlement. Okay, what are we doing here? Drown dead. This summons zombies, right? Some of the units zombie pirates. Five times, cost a nine. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Lucky charm, missile resist, arsonist, poacher. We have sirens in this army. We've already um, made them better. Um, let's get the second one for zombie summoning. Plain of Spiders is there. Red Desert, I think, is way up here. So we might we might scooch down here and just raise that real quick. Probably not going to succeed here. Yeah. And then uh, we really we just don't have any more money. Used it all. Used it all. Uh, let's see. Right cost minus 30%. Recruitment cost. Income from all buildings, all provinces. That's kind of good. 
Just trying to decide. Upkeep minus 8% for all units. Man, these guys got a lot of good perks. They really do. Construction cost minus 15% for all buildings. I mean, come on. Look at that. Like, like. Vampire Coast just has, like, everything that you could possibly ask for. Thank God. Offices with good bonuses. Like, some of the Empire offices are kind of, like, meh. Um, they got good, uh, pretty decent lords and heroes. Um, they, they don't really have any major disadvantages in their recruitment. Like, when you play as uh, the High Elves, um, now, I'm not sure if it's true for Tyrion, although I think it might be, but when you play as Teclas, for certain, like, all of your lords that you can recruit initially are, like, inbred dolts. They have all these negative traits, and you can't get good lords until you secure influence, and so you gotta, like, and you can't get any influence until you can um, uh, get nobles and then, like, perform agent actions every single turn, and so it's, like, it's such a serious disadvantage. It's an interesting... Uh, campaign mechanic it's just it makes your lord suck and then like vampire coast comes out they're not a major faction um for the game and they've just got like nothing but bonuses i don't think there's any bad reason to pick a vampire coast uh faction if you want to have like a fairly straightforward and easy campaign this is kind of interesting it makes you wonder like what kind of design uh choice discussions occur in creative assembly for this stuff <laughs> like let's make a faction that's completely over the top um with bonuses out the yin yang they, they really are pretty uh like pretty easy i think I'm still here. I just got nothing to say right now while the uh, the turn times are ticking through. <laughs> I could... Well, you know what? I could tell you about the small series of unfortunate <laughs> events that that I experienced later. All of my own design, of course. If I if I remember, I'll try to kick those out some point during the episode. It's kind of humorous. Uh, okay. The goddess forbids it. Uh, we got a decent garrison, but... My visions predict... I just... The crew are restless. I don't know how many turns they'll siege, so... Maybe we'll just clear this rebellion real fast. Ah, uh, this should be straightforward, so we'll just... We'll do that. Replenish up. Get rid of them. Uh, a little bit of campaign movement range. Gained a banner. Burnt banner of knights. Enables flaming attacks and a charge bonus. Well, that's interesting. I'm I'm used to the uh, banner of the eternal world. flames. It's like the only fire Undead attack raiders. producing banner I know of. Uh, let's see. All right, let's let's get as close as we can to these guys. We're gonna replenish most of the way. What rank are you? Rank one. We got some money. The seas are mine. We're gonna merge. Okay, we're gonna drop you. Land folk are weak. Just get two more, and then we'll hit this next turn. Full strength would be the idea. Uh, Ice Rock Gorge. Level that up. Uh, really? Ran out of money fast. You know what? What is your demand? Have I? Did I forget to move this army last turn? I can and will. Is Fallen Gates part of the settlement? It is. Of the night. We have 900. That's probably not enough. The building's not done either, is it? Oh, and you know what? We have to do multiple levels of this building, don't we? 
Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought we were going to be able to get the rotting Leviathan as we pass through. No, that's going to have to wait till later. Sorry, I got brain damage. Darkness comes. Small case of brain damage. I think I've had it since I was born. Um, my mom used to always wonder. About my brother, too. <laughs> uh, she used to say some interesting stuff, too, my brother and me. Oh, there's Teclas. <gasps> oh, we're in a um an increased Ooh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um yeah, we're going for it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they got dragon princes and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. We're gonna try, that's for sure. I I think we've already delete defeated deleted. We've already defeated Techless this uh oh man, they got Phoenix Guard and everything. This might have been a dumb choice. I gotta worry about them. I think we've already defeated Teclas this uh, this campaign, so I don't think we're gonna get the uh, the little trait that we get for defeating him. I think we already got that. But oh my gosh, why did I do this? Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop like way back here, and. We really need to, like, separate ourselves from their army. Now, the only war machines they have are those uh, pretty bad bolt throwers. They cannot reach us without moving. So we're going to get a little bit of time where they're not going to be hitting us with any, um, any missiles. Uh, how strong is Benny? Because we can put Benny way up here. Maybe pull this stuff out of position early. And then very quickly get Silostra and our Paladin of Bretonia up there to reinforce. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? We've got like like pure chaff in our army. <laughs> oh boy. We are going to need to uh, ding their, their dragon, their moon dragon. Okay, we'll just set that there. Oh my gosh. Why did I do this? I'm having serious doubts about uh, this decision right now. Oh, too late now. All right, Benny. Get it with your fireball. Our hidden units have been revealed. Good, it's exactly what I wanted to have happen. And what I want is I want them... Yeah, see, I want the Dragon Princes to come out here. I want to get this stuff up here. Um, shoot the Moon Dragon. Okay. We got to get on the Dragon Princes. Oh, they got the Phoenixes and everything in here. Oh, boy. Uh, we need to protect our flank. I absolutely can't even begin to think about micromanaging everything going on behind us. Uh, no, let's get these guys on the eagle there. Dude, this dragon is getting wrecked. There, suck on that. Dragon going down. Dragon going down. Yes, that's what I like to see. Queen Bess. Okay, we need to get rid of all the Sisters of Avalor and stuff. That should do it back there. And then we need to pull all of our heroes out of here. What are you? You're Sword Masters. Okay, let's um see if we can think about tying these guys up. What is getting hit? Oh my goodness, no. No, 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 no. Dragon Princes, get out of here. Dragon Princes, get out of here. Okay, our our Paladin got out. Um, our Paladin is more durable than Benny Butters. Where's Silostra? Oh, not looking good for Benny. Not looking good for Benny. Benny. 
Is this the time to use this? I don't even know. Okay, doing good there. Um, yeah, pop that there. Can we get back on our cannon? Maybe. Okay, we need to bring some of that stuff up. We got our uh, chaff over here doing okay. Getting those guys around. Benny's still doing okay. Paladin of Bretonia. Doing great. Uh, let's, uh... Oh, how I hate that stuff. Start picking apart the Tyranach Chariot. So I lost her having trouble. We got buffs back almost. Uh, get in here. Hack that apart, would you? Um, I do say that we're doing pretty good overall. Okay, so what all do we have in here? Just our heroes? We got to get on the Phoenix Guard. These are just archers. Okay, these guys are swallowing mortar after mortar after mortar. <laughs> these guys are not fighting. Let's get them around the corner here. What else? Do we, what else are we missing? Yeah, this is a problem. Okay, Benny, can we get you out? Uh, can we get some of you out? Where are you going? Just, just stop what you're doing and fire. Keeping an eye on everybody down here. How we doing? How we doing? Let's go ahead and put our Bretonians right on top of the archers there. And then we'll get them in there. We get these guys back here on the uh, Dragon Princes. Get you there. Um, you are there on the Frostheart Phoenix. Very good. You need to be over here. You need to be over here. You need to be there. Pop them out. Um, that's a nice shot right there. They've disrupted our cannon again. Benny. Paladin of Bretonia. Go ahead and put that there. Benny's still stuck, though. He can't get out of here. So, you know what we need? That's what we need. We need big, giant crabs. We need to throw that through the back of the Phoenix Guard. And get Silastra on the Dragon Princes. What are we doing over here with you? Let's go crush Teclis's, uh desire to live. Uh, Silastra's taking some pretty serious damage. Come on. What do we got over here? Yes, yes. Get on this thing. There we go. We're starting to win. It is swinging in our favor. Shattered, 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 shattered. Bum, 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 bum. A costly victory, though. Costly victory. Urgh, yes. Yes, very good. Uh, while we're waiting for the loading screen here, I'm going to go ahead into my phone and add this number to um, spam so that I never get notified by them again. I get so many spam calls. It's, it's obnoxious. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to take the replenishment. It's not giving us a whole lot. Oh, we sunk Teclis's battleship. Darn. Oh, we had not defeated Teclis. So now we have an additional 10 to our Winds of Magic power reserve. How nifty. <laughs> oh, but we lost three units. Can we raise dead in the ocean? We can. That's so, that's so silly. What'd we lose? What did we lose? Did we ever have them to begin with? What did I deploy? I deployed... I think maybe we had one extra of these. 
Like, these are all the war machines. I could have sworn we had a full stack when I came over here. What on earth did we lose? I wasn't paying attention. What do I need to recruit? Well, it doesn't really matter that much, does it? Let's go ahead and, for now... Let's see, are we going to be fighting Lothern here? Or are we going to be fighting Lothern in an open field battle? Because if it's an open field battle, I'd rather get the bloated corpses, but... Uh, let's just go ahead, get three of them. Honestly, I have no recollection. We have fought two battles with Silostra. We had three Death Guard. We had one unit of pole arms. What is missing? Am I oh, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'll have to go back and look at the episode if I ever want to get the answer to that question. Okay, we're going to try to dig for treasure. Treasure hunt failed. It's in here somewhere by Mount Arachnos, right? That's what the riddle said. Unless it's lying to us. Where, where's our person that assaults units? You're right here. Keep gone for your treasure. All ship shape. Oh, the ship shape. Such a thing is impossible. We might just be able to auto resolve this. That would be, that would be nice. Yeah. Take the treasure. The blood's mine. Sure, replenishment for our garrison. I'm not sure how replenishment works um, for your garrison with your picket. Because your garrison, like, internally in the game engine, maybe maybe it counts as an army. It's just, like, immobile. You, you know, like a, like a hacky thing that programmers would do, right? Is they say, oh, we need a garrison, but we want to make it so that armies from room two onward can only have generals. So then a garrison becomes a special army where there's like no general or the general is like he's there but he's invisible. <laughs> you know, he doesn't take part he doesn't participate in the battle. It's like sometimes those kind of like hokey solutions are easier to implement than like actually doing it correctly as a developer. I'm not saying that the game is one way or the other or that I believe it is. I'm just making goofy commentary. Um, let's see. Where'd that, where'd that guy go that we tried to assassinate last turn? Where'd he run off to? Sneaky little bugger. Where is he? He was a Tor and Rock agent. He was right in here. I'm just not seeing him. So you know what? Let's pop over here. See what we can see over on this side of the, uh, the fence. And Sneaky Pete. Pete the, Peter the Slimy. Let's try and wound him again. We failed again, but we got a skill point out of it. We'll drop that into there. Everybody moved. Sure looks like it. Uh, so if anything exciting is going to happen, it's going to be right here. Are there any uh, little goodies we can pick up in here? Is there any reason to sail in here? Oh, there's one right here. I almost missed that one. What about... Like, out this way. Now, we really want to get Lothern back, right? And, honestly, I think we could do it with just this army. It'll be kind of a hokey battle, but, um, you know, a gamey battle. Where we do lots of damage with our lords and heroes and our artillery. And our troops just kind of, like, sit back and don't assault the settlement. Well, now we can't. Now that they've gone and stuck some defenders in it, it would be much more difficult. We could try. It depends on what kind of army they got. You know, if it's a bunch of, like, spearmen, maybe. But I have a feeling that there's um, probably at least some sword masters and white lions in it. Uh, Phoenix Guard are problematic because of their... Um, they have like an innate ward save. Uh, maybe a little bit of magic resist. Having a hard time remembering with them exactly. But they are top tier high elf units. Anti-large as well. So charging into them with Silostra is obviously not a good choice. 
Although she's got such a gigantic ward save, it just it may not matter. That's the uh, Sword of Cain working for us, giving us like an extra 20% ward save on our weapon slot, which is enormous, absolutely huge. Negates so much damage. I really want to wound that little guy. Ah, the Pirates of Sartosa have declared war on uh, Heinrich. Interesting. I wonder if they have like a natural aversion to each other. Like if you if you play as Aranessa Salt Spite, I wonder if Heinrich kind of like automatically hates you when you find him. Um, or if it's a nurture thing based off your campaign actions. Okay, where are you at, Mr. Blubber Boy? My speak Marty Blubberbait. Step out. Step out. Never. Uh, really, this is not a very strong army for them. Uh, they have a lot of cavalry and the chariot. Uh, the war machines could be problematic, but... Hey. As far as, like, using that to defend Lothern? Lots of Lothern Seaguard on the walls there. Oh, boy. You know what? I think we could push our way. <laughs> I think we could do it. Um, this is very easily going to push the episode over the hour mark. Yeah. This is going to be like a 20-minute surgical battle, you know. Um, usually on this map, I aim for this corner over here because there's this, like, nice little notch. But um, if we do that, if we do that, there are bolt throwers. They usually park a bolt thrower, like, way in the back. Start deployment. So, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do this. Now, as long as those are in range of, like, this front corner towers over here, then that's pretty good. Queen Bess has got good range. We'll throw that up here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take two of our damaged pirate units. I'm going to put the bigger one over here in the trees. I don't want it to be hidden. Um, I do want them to want to shoot it. We're going to go ahead and put Benny Butters over there. Our Paladin's got a pretty big ward save as well. Now, the rest... Oh, wait, wait. No, these are our pole arms. I don't want them there. Okay, you. Rest of these guys will just kind of, like, slide along the back. Um, I wonder if our cannons are going to be able to fire effectively from inside the trees. The plan? Now, the Death Guard is where we got a real problem. I don't want them to take any casualties whatsoever. Let it begin. We'll just put them all there. And then the, uh, the Sirens. We'll hide back there. Okay, we got... Uh, that's the sea shanty and then three uses of those. So I lost his right here. I'm going to turn fire at will off on everything. So I lost. They're going to cruise up. And I'm going straight for knocking down the wall. And then these two war machines fire there. These two fire there. I'm just going to try to knock open the wall and walk inside with Silostra. Oh my goodness. Look at all that missile fire. Look at it. Is she even taking damage? Yeah, she is. She's taking a fair amount of it, too. Um, let's pop back. <laughs> pop back to there. 
We've got a big ward save, but... Ah, uh, man. And we'll just throw these in here. That did... That actually did good damage for once. Um, not usually that excited with how that turns out. And so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to eat the missile fire. Why are you... What are you hitting back here? Who's, who's taking missile fire? They are. Oh, uh, they, they ended up... Line of sight for that tower. Okay, good. So what was I even saying? I don't even know. Hey, yeah, both bolt, both bolt throwers are parked in the back, as expected. Like, man, our cannons are just not doing a lot of damage to um, to this sectional wall, are they? Come on, get some more damage in there. Throw that in there. Can we get some nice uh, Queen Bess lobs right over the top? Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. These guys are just eating more uh, more missiles there. Probably come up with this guy a little bit. Okay, let's watch it. Aiming for the sword masters. Took a chunk out of the white lions instead. Go for the sword master. No, don't move. Jerks. Ah, oh, she's he's taking some damage. Yeah, that section of the wall is almost down. Finally. All right, let's hit the tower. Right away. I think we have lots of uh, ammunition as Vampire Coast. What would be really helpful right now is if we had a gunnery wipe because they can uh, grant or gift ammunition back to our uh, units. Okay, let's start aiming some of this stuff in here and softening all this up. Let's bring Silostra up the side here. Okay, 46%. We're still doing okay. We're not taking too much missile fire on stuff that we need to worry about. Some of those are landing a little deep. Maybe we can get them just a little bit tighter here. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I wanted specifically uh, Silostra, not you. How did I goof that up? They gonna move? They gonna move? That's decent. Okay, they're hitting Silaster with a little bit more damage. We're gonna go sit in the bushes over here. That was a nice hit, right? Right in the uh, center of all this. Okay, let's stop for a second with the mortars. Okay. Let's see if that's going to swing through here. It did, but it did absolutely no damage. That did nothing to the uh, Phoenix Guard. Oh, now, uh, say Luster's taking some missile fire there. Okay, good. One tower down. Hello, sisters of Avalorn. I have something for you. I hope that these are all uh, true to flight.
Oh, right in the middle. Ouch. Ouch. Sucks to be them. What's all that back there? Ah, uh, this Phoenix guard is is plugging this hole. Now, let's see here. Let's go for some Lothern Sea Guard. A couple more shots right in there. Or, I'm sorry. Um, Swordmasters of Hoath. Okay, hopefully she's not taking too much damage from um, whoever's shooting that stuff. Bam, that was the last shot out of the Queen Bess. Uh, another tower is gone. So let's start knocking this section of wall open. Ah. Sling some stuff here. And yeah, let's just fast forward. Okay. We've been at this seven minutes. Yeah, it seems about right. My recording time matches the uh, the game time for the battle, more or less. Uh, what is shooting, Silostra? It's them. They're back. Oh, you little snots. Let's just move her this way then. Okay, throw some more in here on the archers. Phoenix guard. I really want to get rid of the Phoenix guard that are plugging that hole. And if we can push these guys further down by making a hole right here in the wall, that'll be good. Keeping an eye on Silaster's health. E getting low. Okay, let's pull back. Still hitting these guys. We got some Reavers. And you know what? Let's fling... Let's fling a couple up here. Oh, that one's out of ammunition. And let's bust the gate open. Okay, just hit this stuff. Lothern Seaguard. Oh, that was a big hit. They just lost like half their unit health. That was good. That was good. Okay, well, guess what? Nothing left for it but to uh, move up here and assault the settlement. Let's go back into regular speed. Uh, now where how are we gonna maneuver these guys up? Let's let's bring them like over to there Our sirens are still hiding over here. That's good uh, then, uh, These guys bring those guys over there And then oh, yeah our paladin of course. What's that in there sword masters? We need to get everything bunched up on our paladin like good and proper and then just run up with Silostra behind and feed them a massive overcast of something that does damage. That seems reasonable, right? Except he's a lot faster than Silaster is, so maybe we'll um, run him in this way. Okay, let's get those guys over there. These guys started off a little bit ahead of the curve, so we're going to put them up uh, right on the corner. And then who's closest? Probably you. We'll go up on this corner here. He's eating a little bit of fire here. Um, I want to get him, like, way in here and then get them all over him because that is just what's going to work best. And Silostra, we need to get, like, right here where she's not going to take a lot of missile fire. Okay, as soon as he crosses this threshold, they're going to be on him. So we want to get in over here now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Are they taking it? Are they taking it? All right, we're going right into the Swordmasters. We're going to throw that down. And then uh, we're just going to bring all this stuff. Start bringing it in. Okay, our Paladin's doing okay. These guys doing okay. Uh, Silastra. That is what that is for. Okay, so they're all in range. They're angry. And then uh, we'll run our knights in behind. Hit them from the back. We got some reavers popped in. Uh, no, you know what? 
We might not get a good uh, line on this, but let's just see what happens. And then Benny Butters can come in. Oh, I wanted to see this. It could have been better, but it wasn't bad. Honestly. Yeah, I think we could charge in with Siloska. She's got some debuffs on her. Let's get our Bretonians on the Lord. We got units climbing up the walls over there. I got some zombies coming in this way. Benny Butters is coming in this way. Oh, no, they are on the wall. Oops. Oh, whatever. Time for our Sea Shanty. Bretonians surging in. Debuff, debuff, debuff. Okay, now we need to bring up all these guys. Get our Sirens cruising in. Okay, we got pretty much all of our um, heroes and lords in here. Get that debuff. Bretonian's not doing so hot. These uh, Lothern Seaguard probably going to get the um, upper hand of us up here. We need to tie them up with some missile fire. Or, I'm sorry, with some infantry to stop their missile fire. And then over here. Oh, he's not doing good at all. Can we get you out of here? Can we get you guys in? What are you guys doing? Silostra is playing over here. That's why Benny's having a hard time because he is trying to fight too much by himself. He's not cut out for it. Not quite yet. Come on, Benny, get out. You're ethereal, man. Just walk through him. And then we're going to drop some more crabbies. Oh, this stuff just all shattered. And we're going to take our crabs. Come on, get on them. Uh, where'd my crabs go? Okay, crabs. Crabs got to go over here. Where are sirens? They came in? Good. Okay, we need to get those guys way back there. Did you get out yet? Uh, it'd be nice if you could come in and lend a hand. There we go. We're, we're winning. We're starting to get them. Oh, Benny's got some uh, regeneration, it looks like. I saw his health go up. Give some Bretonians to these guys there. Ah, we're good there. Okay, these... Oh, they got tied up. That's fine. Um, yeah, okay. We need to go up that way with them. As long as we don't lose any heroes or lords, then I'm satisfied. Yeah, okay, more stuff just broke there. Um, where's my siren? All right, Silostra and our Paladin of Bretonia going over that way. You know what? I'm going to turn off guard mode, and he can just follow them out. Yes. Let's get these guys going over that way. Come on. Get over here. Get in there. Get in there. Knock their lord out. And then our death guard can just stand out. <laughs> what was that? Our Death Guard can just come outside and stop getting shot. Uh, we still got a, a few big units in the back there. God. So durable. Oh my goodness. He's still... Like, come out, dude. Please. Please come outside. Stop hanging out in here. Okay, go get that. Go get that. Go get that. Sending our chaff back there. Okay, their lords is broke. 
the Reavers are going to break. Everything else is broke. That's it. We have gotten the settlement of Lothern back. Hoo-ah. Hoo-ah. Sideluster is very powerful. Try doing that with Carl Franz. Bet you it doesn't go as well. I know that because I've been playing like a little uh, Empire campaign privately. Um, it's not going to be a while, but I am very tempted to uh, at some point start an Empire playthrough. Uh, not until I finish Vampire Coast and Ungrim. And then so then we'll probably be looking at Tomb Kings and Empire running simultaneously on the channel. But uh, Empire, like a lot of fun. Challenging faction to play too. Challenging faction. Heroic victory. We did not lose anything. That's... I'm utterly shocked. Search for treasure. Ooh, we got some nice armor piercing damage. Next. That'd give him 200 armor piercing damage. That'd be a lot. Um, well, maybe not quite because he's got a 6% modifier here. Ooh. Oh, he's so good. He is. He's so good. That's on Benny Butters. You know, we're not really using the potion of foolhardiness that often, are we? It already causes fear and terror, so we gain nothing from those. Vanguard deployment. You know what? Let's give him Vanguard because he he's so powerful. Like he could just charge straight in and start tying up enemy troops like right when the battle starts. And then uh, the Morn Ghouls got Vanguard as well. So the two of them together doing that would probably work pretty good. Um, and I think we'll keep the one that we have. We're going to switch this guy over to the weapon that he used to have. He'll keep that. I think he causes fear and terror, too. Yeah, he does. So, All right, neat. Oh, and then skill point. Favors this one. Uh, weapon strength up to 20%. That's pretty good. Defense, devastating charge. He's just gonna be a beast in in melee, but we're we're gonna put um two more points in the scavenge. So I want I want the magic items. Darn it! Oh no, Lothern is rank one. It's terrible. So it looks like uh, growth. Growth is what we need. All right. Ahoy! Ahoy! Oh uh, well, we auto resolved the rebellion battle, so she doesn't need to come up here for that anymore. Um, let's go this way and start being a nuisance up here then, I guess. Fleet Captain, go up here. Lowest fury. Level 19. He's got beautiful hair. Must have some good conditioner. Assassinate. I don't see anybody to assassinate. Uh, what do we do to settlements? We damage the building? neat little way to uh, pick up a uh, skill point. Yeah. Um, just start pumping up his yellow line. Generary white. Steel technology. Successful. Oh boy. Okay, so we got Tyrion is up there. Shrine of Cain is possibly a good recruitment settlement then. No, not really. Shadow Warriors, Lothern Sea Guard, and some cavalry, Silver Helms. Don't know why they're all holed up in there doing whatever it is they're doing. Uh, but I do feel comfortable spending the uh, money in there. Captain, on 
Captain, on deck. Okay, so, oh, no. Are you serious? Oh, that's, oh, that's ugly. I don't want to fight that. Oh, that's nasty. Impossible. They don't have any um, extra garrison. Oh my god, this whole settlement has just been, like, absolutely smashed. Everything is rank one. That's sad. Vols Anvil. Oh, we can build over here. Groth it is. Uh, so each of these... Oh, this one, they didn't put the walls in, huh? Alright, so we got walls over here. We've only got a single mortar, so... We're kind of get, going to get tied up here for a couple turns, so let's just put that there. We can have the leadership and the flaming attacks on some sirens. Sirens. The last Start is building towers. Let's fight! And we'll come back. We'll come back to that. I don't want to fight it right now. Ah, uh, boy, I really wanted to get the rotting leviathans, but I think it's gonna have to wait. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rush up with Beatrix to reinforce Charlie the Drowned, and we'll use this three thousand per turn to kind of build up our settlements. He ran off to here. Let's see if we can finally get him. We're going to get wounded. Watch. Oh, we did it. Yeah, Peter. The slimy. We're going to have a rebellion in here at Tor Elir. So we're going to have to pop back. It's fine. Let's look at diplomacy real quick. Ah, oh, there's so many factions we can trade. Wow, Clan Pestilence likes us now. Bring decay. They're friendly with Luther. And the Blessed Dread, who also kind of like us. Jake. These guys, they got a good thing going up here. How's the Borrow Legion doing? Oh, I haven't discovered them, so I can't see. Norska themselves are doing pretty good, though. 16 provinces. Varg hates us for some reason. They're just prejudiced against us. No, great power too is a is a big stickler for them. Well, pestilence all all powerful, but more slaves needed, more gold, more no no. Let's see if we can uh, scrounge up a little bit of extra money per turn, yes, yes. and possibly take. Clan Pestilence out Bring of the list of factions that we need to worry about. Lockyer Felhart, that's his sea, name. Playing pirate. How risable. It shall be done. So that gets us an extra 200 per turn. I am ready. Oh, you know what? We certainly don't the hurt anything by getting trade here. And let's talk terms. We might as well I go all in. Yes. Get some trade with Norska. Don't oh, think Kemri's gonna go for it. No, nah, they might. But we're also we're also trading with Pirates of Sartosa, and they're at war. So if we do this, um they they may both start to like dislike us a little bit. It's hard to say. Or maybe they'll cancel each other out. I don't know. Uh, but that gets us like an extra 300 per turn. Settlement upgrade tour and rock. Yeah, we'll do that. And then uh, we'll end our turn. And then consequently after that, end the video. Because it's a little bit long. I think it's a good stopping point. I was sending a little text message there to my wife, letting her know that I'll be up soon because she sent me a message saying, let me know when I'm going to come up 
for uh, and be ready for dinner. Such a such a sweet and lovely woman she is. Very supportive of me uh, doing all this YouTube nonsense, silliness, playing games and uploading it. Um, very very fortunate to have uh, somebody who's on board with my desire to do this kind of stuff. It's really hard to do things when um, you're surrounded by people who are not supportive. <laughs> so I've, I've been there, oh, with a um, crew. but most, most of my life, people have been pretty supportive about the stuff I pursue. Oh, not aggression pact with you. Yeah, well, let's go ahead. Let's do it. It's amazing how quickly, like, things turned around down here. We were at war with Clan Pestilence, like, they declared war on us for some reason. We kicked the crap out of them. And suddenly, them and everybody else that likes them is friendly with us. Like, I think we had a battle with them. I'm pretty sure we did. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe we didn't fight them. No, we did fight them, because I declared peace with them at the beginning of this episode. So, I don't know. Uh, the last time I played this campaign was almost a month ago, so... I went back and I watched like the last five minutes again before starting this one up so that I would know like the context of what things are, are going on. Um, but I don't remember everything that happened during the last episode. Um, just the way those, those things go. Been pretty busy the last uh, few weeks. Just, just in general. Lots of stuff going on. I've been a little bit slow producing videos this week. I finally kind of like got back in and made a couple planet coaster videos uh before i go upstairs to eat i'm gonna kick off a render for a blender video that's um news, somewhat Lord. tied to Word planet coaster across the land of a dark power uh oh the northern wastes the armies of chaos are on the move uh oh they surely plan to invade the world of mortals once again. yeah we've heard it before oh dear um casual no Campaign movement range is superior to all else. Holy crud. Okay, so they popped in right here. They hate us right off the bat. Mm, that's troublesome. Uh, I also am fairly certain that there are some that pop in down here. We can't see them. I think they're in this fog of war, and they're going to swoop up this way. I don't know what they're called either. Um... There's also some that kind of like come in this way. Now, they may be the same ones down here, the Bjornlings or whatever, and they just take a while to get here. Uh, but I could be mistaken. Real quick before we wrap this up, the chaos has appeared. Okay. I'm at war with them, but they're not listed. Maybe I just haven't efficiently... Oh. Maybe I had to do that. Let's try again. No, I'm at war with them, but it's not showing them. They're... Okay, so they're right up here, right? Further? Where'd they go? Well, now, hold on a second. I'm not crazy. Where did they go? They were like, they were just here. I thought they were right here. Like, right here. <laughs> They've disappeared. What is going on? They weren't this far south. No, no, they, they were not down here. They were, like, right here. There was a whole bunch of them. Uh, maybe it's just Fog of War. I don't know. And then there should be some down here. The Rise of Chaos. Yes, very good. And then, of course, um, the typical spot way up here in the corner. So, Kislev is probably going to get wiped out. They're still in the game. Uh, our vampire counts? We don't know. All right, anyways, those are all thoughts and ponderings for another time. That's going to be the end of this episode. Let me know if you're enjoying it with comments or thumbs up. I'm enjoying it. Fun campaign. Good to hop in and play. And uh, we'll see you next time. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter, possibly. Check out the rest of the channel. And thank you so much for being here. We'll see you next time. You have a good afternoon. And take care.